You know, being a family caregiver can be a full-time job and also your life's sole purpose during the time it's uh, happening. But you know, the cycle of life continues and a loved one eventually dies. What then? How do you cope? So I talked to my friend Chris McClellan, the bow tie guy, about his journey in caregiving, which was captured in a Pulitzer Prize winning story in his uh, newspaper down in Florida. He said it's necessary to first uh, look at your post caregiving life during the caregiving itself. You know, oftentimes family caregivers become isolated. They don't see their friends as much. They turn down social invitations. And as these bonds weaken, it takes an effort uh, after the caregiving is over to reestablish connections. So you really want to be, you know, conscious of that uh, as, uh, as you're going through your caregiving journey. Uh, Chris believes that simply being aware that your caregiving journey will end someday is an important first step. Just as the caregiving hits you over the head, so does the void it creates when it's over. Now, in terms of getting to acceptance, you know, there's all kind of emotions when the journey is over. There's relief, there's sadness, there's guilt. I've had all of those. Uh, you know, for me personally, acceptance took, uh, uh, you know, uh, came after I took up an offer from a grief counselor uh, to go to um, at hospice and went and talked to her about uh, mom's final hours. For, uh, for Chris, it came through advocacy and writing a book. Uh, maybe you yourself want to keep a journal and find comfort in that, or you might immerse yourself in a cause that is related uh, to what a loved one went through. So take stock of your overall well-being. That's another thing Chris mentioned uh, because uh, obviously you want to take care of yourself. That's paramount and you should be aware of that when you're during uh, the caregiver journey itself. Thanks. Hey, this is Anthony. If you like what you're viewing and you like our videos, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon as well. And every time I post a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.